Kill now. of a spooky, scary ghost. Ah! I'm fine with real ghosts, but impressions of them are too scary! Logic does not compute. Of a once powerful uh, did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Amazing adventure, you know what else is scary? Sweet buns. Yep, tasty, tasty sweet buns. So round, so sweet, so delicious. That doesn't sound scary at all. I'm scared too. Scared of losing my friends. Huh? Did you hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Answer us, Himiko. You chose the middle room to lure us into your trap, did you not? Then you used that trap to kill Tenko, yes? Well, Donkey Lips, did you kill that twat? Wait, must be some mistake. No way Himiko is culprit. Then she needs to defend herself. Otherwise, this debate is deadlocked. I don't care if you gotta use magic to do it, but say something already! Are you even listening? No, I'm not listening. I... I don't care anymore. I'm too tired. Angie died. Tanko died. Why did I have to survive? And now, you're all saying I killed them? I just don't care anymore. Himiko. Do whatever. If you want to vote for me, then just go ahead. The game gets really blah if the suspect isn't into it. That's not the problem! Damn it! Don't tell me you've given up! Himiko, don't give up! Don't you understand? 
My life is riding on the outcome of this trial! Just shut up. I told you, I'm too tired. It's all just a big pain. I can't put up with it anymore. What are you talking about? If you give up here... You needn't worry. Himiko was the one who chose that room. Therefore, she is unmistakably the culprit. Uh, impossible! Himiko would never kill Tanko! Himiko, not that kind of person! Gonta can tell by Himiko's face! Himiko's a little... slow, so I don't think she's capable of handling a complicated crime. I also think Himiko's not the culprit. Um, somehow... Either way, we gotta look for more possibilities. <laughs> that does seem like rather a pointless quest. No, it's not. We gotta be strong. Gotta keep thinking. Then we might find new truth. So no give up, Himiko! Forming the seance in that room was Himiko's decision, was it not? What if someone steered her into picking that room? Of the three empty rooms, why did you select the middle one, Himiko? Because you laid your trap there. Was trap only in that room? Other rooms may be trapped too. It's just like Gonta said. Each room was the same. They were all trapped. What? Is that true? Kokichi will tell you. I was way too careless. Uh, wait, what are you talking about? While you were in the room next to the crime scene, you found a loose floorboard, right? Well, I didn't find it so much as I stepped through it and tripped. Wah! Hold on! There was also a loose floorboard in the next room? So the culprit prepared a trap in all three empty rooms, not just the middle one. If the culprit set traps in all the rooms, and they wouldn't need to select a room themselves. So the real trap was for someone else to pick a room and take the blame. I see. We were caught in the culprit's trap all along. Especially you! But now there's no reason to suspect Himiko, right? Kimiko, do you remember what Tanko told you? Live life facing forward. She said that to you, right? If you give up on living, you'd be betraying her memory. We're all trying to keep our promises to the dead. This trial, it's not just for our lives. It's for everyone who's died as well. That's why we can't give up. This is our responsibility. 
We live on. Right. Yeah, that's right. If I gave up here, I wouldn't be able to face Angie or Tinko. That's right. So let's do our best. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say it's a pain anymore. I won't give up. I'll fight alongside everyone and survive. Do not say everyone. After all, the Blackened is still among us. Hey, there you go. Killing the mood like usual. But damn! Well said, Shuichi. That's what I'd expect from my soul, bro. Your soul, bro? Well, anyway, do you think the Blackened this time has some sort of superpower? What are you talking about? Well, as a self-proclaimed expert of stepping through floorboards... Isn't it weird that no one stepped through that floorboard before the culprit used it? Ah, that is a good point. It must have been barrier magic. Well, that's one possibility, but I think it might have been something else. of the magic circle at the scene of the crime. Before we began the seance, we were warned not to step on the circle. The floorboard in question was within the circle. That's why no one stepped on it. So the magic circle's purpose was to keep us away from the whole trick. That was part of the culprit's plans too? It has to be you! Kyo, was it you? Hmm, whatever are you talking about? I'm talking about Tenko's murder. Kyo? Why do you suspect me? Because you were the one who drew the magic circle. The circle kept us from discovering the seesaw trick. But that's not all it was for. In order to make the murder succeed, variables like Tenko's position and the placement of the cage needed to be defined. And those variables were defined by using the magic circle. In short, the circle itself was the most important tool in this murder. Knowing that, the person who drew the magic circle has to be the culprit. Well, Kyo? Answer already! Did you do it? What is so funny? 
I was just thinking. So this is how each Blackened must have felt. What an intriguing experience this is. What? An intriguing experience? But if I am the culprit as you claim, then I stomped on the floorboard, yes? So, do tell. How could I have stomped on the floorboard during that darkened seance? I see. That is problem. <laughs> Unless that is made clear, you cannot be certain I am the culprit. How can you be so calm when you're backed into a corner like this? I will explain that in due time. Please answer my question first. Wait a minute. Maybe... Did you figure it out? That's it! The culprit used touch. They didn't see, they felt. That way they could get around in the dark, like how I got to the candle. Wasn't Seesaw in middle of room? Gonta doesn't think it was near wall. So they probably used something besides the wall to move then, right? Hmm? Were there any other markers within reach? Of course, the answer to that is, there was nothing of the sort. circle. They used the magic circle. Remember? The magic circle was drawn with salt. The culprit used the salt's texture to feel their way through the dark. I see. So Keo traced the magic circle with his hands to get to the loose floorboard. Oh, I see. You drew the magic circle with salt to use it as a guide. An interesting thought. It is unfortunate that it is so wrong. Recall the document. What did the magic circle look like? Based on the document, the magic circle wouldn't reach the corners of the room. So what? When the room was darkened, each of us was in a corner of the room, yes? The magic circle didn't reach us, so I could not have followed it, yes? But you're talking about the magic circle in the document. That doesn't mean the circle you drew was the same. No, I most definitely drew it exactly the same. I have it perfectly memorized. Um, 
so which is it? Is there any way to check? Not anymore. The magic circle is a complete mess from being trampled on. Everyone, may I have your attention, please? Hmm, what a pain. We don't have any way to check it now. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? Well, I guess there's no point in discussing the magic circle anymore. Hey, may I have your attention? No, oh, I said cut that out. It's too bright. I apologize. I just wanted everyone to listen to me. About what? I had Mew add another function to my body, in addition to the flashlight. What the? No way! Did you really... Stop! You can't! I didn't install it for that perp! Please, let me use it! With it, I might be able to save everyone. All right, so what is this function? It's an image recording function. Image recording? Specifically, this function allows me to dispense a printout of my own memory. I'll give it a try. Ready? Your mouth? I also used magic like that before. This printout is my memory of being kicked out of the seance. Please confirm that the floor of the empty room is clearly visible. Go on, take the picture and see for yourself. Uh, okay, got it. Well, Shuichi, do you notice anything? There! This helped a lot, Kibo. Without you. I never would have seen through Kyo's lie. My lie? You just said that you drew the magic circle exactly as it appears in the document. But that's a lie, isn't it? The magic circle at the scene had lines that stretched to the room's corners. Which means that you would be able to find the floorboard from anywhere in the room. So it was different from the document after all. All because Himiko noticed. And because of Kibo, too. Hey, where's my things? I'm the one who installed that function into Kibo. Hey, yeah, what was it you were saying about its purpose? Oh, to be honest, the purpose of that image recording function is to monitor my health. Specifically... I make Kibo use that function every day to... <sighs> analyze my turds! Your what? Why? Shit is a great indicator of intestinal health and gut bacteria quality! Plus, taking a satisfying shit does wonders for a woman's natural beauty, so... See? You're all grossed out! This is why I didn't want to tell you about my plan! Quit talking about your poop. No one cares. Kyo, you killed Tenko, didn't you? Just give up and admit it already. 
So, Kyo, if you have any objections, you can- Your deductions are fiction. Well, since you've given me the option, I will most certainly object. To be honest, it's unimportant, but it may be an amusing diversion. Now I shall bear witness to your ability, Shuichi. Do entertain me. If you are going to claim I am the culprit, then what of the murder weapon? It was set up in the cage. The only people capable of that are Kokichi and Shuichi, who carry the cage. So suspicion should fall on them. True, we could have placed the sickle there, but we could not have removed it later. Because we weren't the ones who lifted the cage. That was Himiko. The only person who could have collected the sickle was Himiko. But the only people who could have placed the sickle are Kokichi and Shuichi. But in regards to that dilemma, I did not carry the cage, nor did I lift it. I had no opportunity to touch the sickle. I'll cut through your words! The only person who could have set up the sickle and retrieved it afterward is Kyo. That was done by covering the cage with a white cloth. You could have secretly placed the sickle when you draped the cloth. And retrieved it afterward when you removed the cloth. Then, while everyone was distracted, you discreetly dropped the sickle under the floor. Wonderful! That's exactly correct! It's correct? Then why don't you give up already? <laughs> the trick I put so much work into is just wasted effort now. Alas. So, it was you? You killed Tinkle? Let me guess. You'll never forgive me. Himiko, you must hate me so very much. Maybe you'd feel better if I was executed by Monokuma. But unfortunately for you, that won't happen. Because if you vote for me, every spotless, including myself, will die. What you talking about, Kyo? <laughs> you still don't understand? I killed Tenko, that is the truth. But it is meaningless in this class trial. Meaningless? You mean Monokuma's extra rule, right? You see, I killed Tenko, but not Angie. For us, Tenko's death is nothing but a trivial issue. Because the blackened in this trial is the culprit who killed Angie. A uh, trivial issue? No, that's gotta be a lie. You probably killed Angie too. That is simply not possible. Recall that I was unable to enter Angie's lab. Oh, only student council members and Kokichi could enter research lab. How could I have possibly killed Angie when I couldn't even enter her lab? We can figure that out. No one else could have done it besides you. If you're the one who killed Tenko, you gotta be the one who killed Angie! 
I understand how you feel, Himiko, but maybe we can discuss this rationally and calmly. There is a non-zero possibility that Kyo is telling the truth. So you understand how she feels. I see. Wait, robots can understand human feelings? Uh, of course I understand. I work really hard to understand. Hey, why are you getting all worked up, Kibo? Chill, dude. That's enough! It's voting time! I'm gonna vote for him! <laughs> voting for me will only help the one who murdered Angie. Isn't Kyo culprit? Of course I'm not. This case was an error on my part. Monokuma added that rule after both bodies were found, yes? How was I to know that the trial would only be for Angie's killer? Had I known, I certainly wouldn't have killed Tenko. You're lying! You killed Tenko and Angie! Now hold on. Jumping to conclusions here is dangerous. Mm-hmm. We should talk it out more. This case might have juicy plot twists waiting to happen! Nuts to that! Any way you look at this case, Keo is obviously the culprit! Yeah, there's sort of no other way to look at it. No, it's too dangerous to vote before we arrive at a logical decision. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial rounds! Yippee! I've been waiting for this! Why were you waiting for it? Don't know for certain that Kyo killed Angie. He forced his way into Angie's research lab and killed her! I got this, but he couldn't get into Angie's research lab. The katana was found in Kyo's lab. Kyo! Anyone could have entered my lab. So Kyo did kill Tanko, but he not blackened? Kokichi! Perhaps there's a second blackened we need to find. He was planning to use the new rule to protect himself all along. Kyo! Not possible. That rule was added after both murders. We solved the mystery of Tenko's death. Can't we just vote now? I got this! Not yet. There's still another mystery to solve. It would be a mistake to vote before we've completely solved Angie's murder. And there's still the mystery of Tenko's murder. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, Kyo's confession derailed our conversation a bit. But we still have to go over one of the clues found at Tenko's crime scene. I believe it might even have something to do with Angie's murder.
This is it! The blood stain found under the floor. Maki and I found it during the investigation. It was beneath the floorboard that the culprit stomped on. Is that Tenko's blood? That blood stain was too far from Tenko's corpse to have been hers. Also, the blood stain was already dry when we found it. But the blood from Tenko's body hadn't even begun to dry yet. Well, that's weird. Why was that blood stain the only dry one? The blood stain wasn't from Tanko's murder. It was there before we started the seance. Before the seance? That bloodstain wasn't Tanko's, it was Angie's. What? Why was blood from Angie at the scene of Tanko's murder? Yeah, wasn't Angie killed in her research lab? Just because we found her body there doesn't mean she was killed there. Ah, I guess that's possible. If Angie wasn't killed in her lab, then that opens up a lot more possibilities. We assumed that only council members could have killed Angie since her body was in her lab. But if she died somewhere else, then we can't suspect just the council members anymore. So the culprit didn't enter her lab, but waited for her to come out of it? I'm not sure if the culprit waited for her, but they probably killed her when she came out. Well, I thought that was more likely from the start. So I went to places Angie might have gone and checked all three empty rooms. Places she might have gone? Why did you check the empty rooms then? Hmm? The empty rooms were the only places I could think of that Angie would go. Did Angie have business in rooms? Seems Kokichi's up to his usual misleading nonsense again. <laughs> I do lie a lot, and I could be lying right now too. But I'm pretty sure someone's panicking right now because of my lie. Research lab is not where Angie was killed. She was killed in the empty room instead. She left her lab on her own? But why would she go into an empty room? There shouldn't have been anything in there. Except for candles. That's it! She wanted a candle! I agree! That's it. Angie went to that room to get a candle. Yeah, for kinky wax play. Uh, no. Angie was going to use it for the ritual. According to the Necronomicon, to resurrect the dead,
Then, did she seek out a candle so she could burn the book? That's right. There's nothing to start a fire with in Angie's lab. So she went to go get a candle from one of the empty rooms. And that's when the culprit attacked her. That's why there was dry blood under floor. Which means Angie was attacked in the same room the seance was held. Bravo, Himiko. Well done for choosing that room for the seance. If we hadn't done the seance in that room, then Tenko's murder would have been in another room. If that happened, no one would have discovered Angie's blood stain under the floorboards. That's right. Shuichi and I only checked under the floorboards where Tenko died. Yep, it's all thanks to Himiko for choosing the same room as Angie. This must be a two as will. Or maybe the power of magic. It's neither. I just picked one. Hold on. You're all acting as though you've proven that is fact already. You claim Angie was murdered in the empty room, and then moved to the lab? Then how do you explain the large amount of blood in the lab? It may be possible to carry a body, but blood cannot be moved. I think she was still alive after the attack in the empty room. Hmm. She was killed after she was carried to her lab. This is it! The fatal wound was a cut to the back of her neck from a katana. But she also showed signs of blunt force trauma, and I think I know why. After Angie was knocked unconscious in the empty room, she was killed in her lab. I see! So that puddle of blood is from the killing blow! It's all clear now. Angie was attacked in the empty room, carried to her lab. And it was there that the culprit finished her off. All clear. This is all clear. <laughs> what are you all talking about? All clear. What is all clear? What is... What are you... All clear? Wh what are... You all... You... You what? Wh wh what are... I will not fear. I will not back down. Sweet Correcchio, calm yourself. Their words are all hollow. There is no meaning to any of them. You must teach these ignorant children a lesson. Y yes, you're right. Okay, I'll teach them. What the hell are you mumbling about? You're giving me the goddamn willies! Yet, nothing is clear at all. It's full of doubts, of mysteries, of a dense, impenetrable fog! Nothing is clear at all! Angie was attacked in the empty room first and then carried into the research lab? Impossible! Impossible! 
That's nothing but a delusion! You intend to poison our minds with your delusions? It's no delusion. Angie's two external wounds tell the story. After she was struck in the empty room, she was carried to the art research lab and then killed. You say the culprit carried Angie's body? And not a single drop of blood fell? The hallway and empty room had no blood stains. Even if you wiped them down later, there'd still be traces of evidence left behind. But there was no evidence anywhere, was there, Shuichi? I'll cut through your words! There was evidence left at the scene. The bloody tape under Angie's body. What? It was wrapped around her head to stop the bleeding while she was being carried. Bloody tape? Gonta didn't notice at all. It was under the body. It's most likely evidence the culprit should have gotten rid of. But since it was hidden, the culprit didn't notice and failed to dispose of it. It must have fallen as the fatal blow was dealt, and ended up under her body. It must have been Atua who did that for us. What? Atua? How long are you going to keep that up? Now we know most of the mystery behind Angie's murder. I'm convinced there's only one person who could have killed Angie. It has to be you! It's you, Kyo. You killed Angie. Well, that was obvious. Such a boring, obvious answer. You killed both of them. Why? Why did you kill them? In terms of pure logic, only one victim was necessary to win. Why? Why you killed them both? I think one of the murders was an accident. An accident? That's right. It wasn't part of the plan. Huh? Which one? That's it! Angie's murder was an accident. What? Tenko wasn't accident? That's right. Kyo originally planned to kill someone with a seesaw trick. But while he was making preparations in the empty room, Angie walked in. So he decided to kill her in order to keep her from talking. She just happened to walk in on the culprit setting up and was killed. Then we should have just stopped there. Since he killed Angie, there was no reason for him to kill Tinko. He only needed to kill one for this game. Killing two is pointless. If you get bonus points for killing more, then sure. Otherwise, it leaves more clues behind. Why, Kyo? Why you kill two of our friends? What is... What on earth are you talking about? No. I'm not the culprit. So, why is everyone looking at me like I am? Why? Why are they? Why is it... Calm yourself, Kurekio. Yes. You mustn't raise your voice. You mustn't stutter. You mustn't lose composure. You mustn't become flustered. You mustn't waver. Look at their horrid faces. 
This sorry lot is not worth agonizing over. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you're right. There he goes again. What the hell's wrong with him? It almost seems like he's talking with someone. Someone? He's just talking to himself. And why the hell is he wearing lipstick? No matter how loudly you protest, this is a trivial matter. I will never acknowledge your allegations. Not a single one of them. So you see, there is no evidence that I killed Angie. No, I will not acknowledge it. I will only acknowledge facts, true events. I will acknowledge fiction, mystery. I won't acknowledge your deductions or guesses. Well said. Good job, Correggio. Yes, thanks. <laughs> Creeps me the fuck out! You're wrong. There is evidence. What? You do realize bluffs like that won't work, yes? The weapon that was used to knock Angie unconscious in the empty room. That weapon tells us the whole story, Keo. <laughs> That's not possible. I think you may have misunderstood. Apologize. Come on, apologize. 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 Apologize, 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 apologize. Seriously, what the hell's happening? I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Yes, I'm not the culprit. So I have nothing to confess. I have nothing to admit. You are simply wrong. Apologize. I told you I am not the culprit. So why are you looking at me like that? You're all wrong, not me! Correcchio speaks the truth. Such a sorry lot. Apologize. Apologize. Apologize! You have no proof that Correcchio is the killer. It ends here! Kyo hit Angie with the same floorboard used in the seesaw trick. I see. And how do you know the floorboard was the murder weapon? There was a small patch of dried blood on the underside of the floorboard. Angie's blood? Blood that spattered there when the culprit struck Angie with the board. But that's not the only evidence that she was hit with that floorboard. There's also the blood stain under the floor to consider. For that to be there, the floorboard must not have been in place at the time of the attack. Good point. Had the floorboard been in place, her blood wouldn't have splattered beneath it. Keo's earlier confession is further evidence that the floorboard was used. H how? If the weapon used to hit Angie is the floorboard from the seesaw trick... It means the culprit knew about the seesaw, so the same person killed Tenko and Angie. Huh. Uh. Ah! Ah! 
I believe that while Keel was setting up the seesaw, he was holding the board when Angie walked in. And a cold copter with a floorboard! All you can do now is accept it. You even confessed to Tenko's murder already. Oh, it's true. This is the truth. Uh, uh. Looks like we're almost at the end. All right, Shuichi. I'll leave the finale to you. Bring down the house. Shuichi, please put an end to this. For Angie and Tanko's sake. End this class trial. I understand. I'll go over everything one more time. Kyo, I want you to confess. No, I will force you to confess. This is the truth of the case! Let's look back at the first murder. It was late last night. The culprit was in the empty room on the fourth floor. The culprit was preparing the seance murder they had planned. To use the floorboard as a seesaw, they had to cut the cross piece supporting it. The plan was to make the same preparations for all three empty rooms. This would divert suspicion away from the culprit and whoever picked a room. To cut the cross pieces, they needed a saw. I imagine they got one from the warehouse. They were planning to cut the cross pieces in all three rooms. However, when the culprit was working on the middle room, the unexpected happened. Angie walked into that room and saw the culprit making their preparations. She needed some fire for the ritual and had gone to the room for a candle. At that point, the culprit had not finished the setup and was just cutting cross pieces. Angie might not have concluded that it was tied to some kind of murder plan. But now that Angie had seen it, the culprit couldn't use the seesaw trick. Any other person might have just given up, but not our culprit. The culprit took the floorboard they loosened and struck the unsuspecting Angie in the head. The culprit did not want to give up on their plan and had to improvise. They wrapped duct tape around Angie's injury to stop the bleeding. Then they picked up her unconscious body and carried her to a research lab. While she was unconscious, the culprit hurried to tie up this loose end. But because they were in a hurry, they made a crucial oversight. They didn't notice the duct tape had peeled off and was under Angie's body. Without that evidence, we may never have figured out the culprit's trick.
carrying the supplies they needed, the culprit returned to the ultimate art lab. Lock the front door from inside. And took out the katana they brought from their own lab. They then stabbed Angie in the back of the neck, finally killing her. Then, to further confuse us, the culprit attempted to make a locked room mystery. First, they used rope from the warehouse and hung four effigies upside down. There were two reasons for this. To overwhelm the room with an occult atmosphere. And the other was the key to locking the room. The culprit stuck the katana into Kaede's effigy near the rear entrance. And spun the effigy around to twist up the rope. After enough turns, the culprit let go and headed for the rear door. Once released, the effigy began spinning and the gold leaf katana with it. The handle of the katana then hit the sliding lock, locking the door. A difficult trick, but remember that the lock was so loose it moved at the slightest touch. The culprit also would have had the opportunity to attempt it many times. Once complete, the door was locked, but the duct tape was left behind. Perhaps the culprit noticed it, but by that point, it was too late. The room was sealed. There was no way for them to get back inside. Then, this morning, we opened up the room and discovered Angie's body. But the culprit wasn't finished. They wanted one more murder. To do that, they manipulated us into performing this seance. Of the three empty rooms, the middle one was chosen for the seance. I was invited by Kokichi to take Kibo's place in the seance. Tenko volunteered to be the medium, but she never imagined it would get her killed. To perform the seance, the culprit claimed they needed something for Tenko. A small stone that Himiko had brought from the courtyard. Tenko, at the culprit's request, bowed her head until it was touching the stone. That position was instrumental in making sure the murder went as planned. Next, Kokichi and I placed the iron cage over Tenko in the middle of the magic circle. The culprit then volunteered to drape the white cloth over the iron cage. We didn't realize it at the time, but that was a deliberate decision by the culprit. They needed to set up the murder weapon that was used to kill Tanko. While they were covering the cage with a cloth, they secretly placed the sickle. Finally, 
four of us place the wooden statue on top of the cage. The culprit used the weight of the statue to keep the murder weapon in place. After the preparations were complete, we began the seance. In complete darkness, we each stood in one corner and sang the Cage Child song. When the song finished, the soul of the dead was supposed to enter the medium. But our culprit had another plan, to commit a murder in the darkness. Right after we started singing, the culprit began making their way toward Tenko. It would have been quite difficult to do in total darkness, but our culprit had a guide. They used the lines of the magic circle drawn with salt. The culprit felt for the salt and used it to guide them along. And when the culprit reached the center of the circle, they found the floorboard that had its cross piece cut off the night before. then lifted up their foot and stomped down hard on the floorboard. The floorboard lifted up like a seesaw and pushed Tenko's body up toward the ceiling of the cage. Tenko was stabbed in the back of the neck by the sickle on the top of the cage. She was killed right before our eyes and we didn't even see it. After committing the crime, the culprit followed the salt back to their corner. Finished the ritual and had us light the candles. We followed the culprit's directions and removed the equipment used for the seance. And discovered Tenko's body. While we were all focused on the body, the culprit picked up the sickle and dropped it under the floor through the hole in the corner of the room. Ironically, the final step of the murder was unwittingly carried out by us. The culprit had planned the murder so that we would unintentionally destroy some evidence. That evidence was the magic circle that the culprit used to navigate in the dark. However, the culprit didn't know that Kibo had taken a picture. He really saved us. Without that, we wouldn't know what changes were made to the circle. But now we know for certain, and we know the culprit drew the magic circle. Kureki Oshinguji, the ultimate anthropologist. You're the culprit behind these murders. That's where my detective work leads us. It all fits. <laughs> Sweet Korekio, there are times when it's necessary to admit defeat. Uh, admit? Yeah, okay. So you...
finally admit you did it. Fortunately, yes. Yes. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. My one regret, my only regret, was not being able to make 100 friends. 100 friends? <laughs> it was my dream to make 100 friends. Oh, it's so unfortunate! I was so close to 100! W what are you talking about? I do not understand a word of this. Who gives a fuck? Let's vote for this kooky bastard and be done with this already! Roger that! One voting time! Coming up! The heart racing excitement as... The heart racing excitement! As the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Chosen as the blackened. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> 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 